Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. There are actually, I think, more than 40 people on, so we won't have the opportunity to get um, to have everyone introduce themselves right now. Um, but my name is Vimala Palanaswamy, and I'm the director of MIT Boot Camps, and we have Erdine Beshamov, who is the founder and um, a senior director at Open Learning, where we sit. Um, we're going to take probably about 20 to 30 minutes to introduce the program to you. Um, feel free to ask us questions in between. We'll also have a de um, dedicated section at the end um, for Q&A. Um, and we would love for you, you know, as you ask your questions, just to remind all of us or introduce yourself, let us know um, your name and where you're joining from, just um, so we have a sense of who's here in the room. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started with the formal presentation, um, which will hopefully answer a lot of your questions, though we know um, you'll also have a lot of unanswered ones. <clears throat> and Bimla, I just want to um, quickly say for anyone that would like to ask a question for the end, um, you can at any time put that into our Q&A section at the bottom and there you'll, you, I'll be able to list through and, and we'll um, address those. If you have a question regarding technical issues or anything on the side, I will be active in the chat. And that's a place where I can also help you throughout um, throughout this entire uh, webinar. Great. And um, who you're hearing right now is Jane Rossi, oh, and she's um, sorry. She works, yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself briefly, Jane? Uh, hi, 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 all. Um, my name's Jane. Uh, you may see me in some of your emails. I work um, in admissions for our boot camps program, and then also doing some program coordination during the program. So you'll be seeing me um, throughout that as well, helping you out and, and nurturing you along the way. Thank you, Jane. Thanks, Rim. So um, Erdine and I will be your uh, primary, I guess, hosts throughout the boot camp. Um, so we will be, over the course of 10 weeks, we'll be leading you in the innovation workshops, and um, we'll, we're the ones who are coordinating a lot of the guest speakers as well as um, the coaches. So we'll be your primary points of contact when it comes to anything related to the content and the curriculum during the boot camp. Um, whereas Jane and our colleague Mariah and Beatrice um, will be there for you in, um, in, with any types of support around um, the platforms, under, any questions you have around um, homework and deliverables, and the coaches will be there who will be assigned at the start of the boot camp will be there to help you through the work that you're um, doing over the course of the boot camp. Can I just ask everyone if you could mute for now? I'm getting a little bit of background noise, um, I think, from, from a couple of people. Okay, thank you. So um, just to introduce myself briefly, um, my name is Vimala, and I'm the director for MIT boot camps. I've been working at MIT for close to four years. Um, prior to that, I have started a couple businesses, one in fair trade skincare, um, one that was a network that was connecting entrepreneurs in emerging markets to um, expertise and resources around the world. Um, and then before that, I was actually a student at um, MIT in the business school where Erdine and I were classmates. Um, and prior to that, I worked in international development, mostly focused on healthcare and economic development for people living below a dollar a day. Um, so my path to business school and entrepreneurship was really spurred by um, a desire to, uh, a desire for problem solving primarily in the developing world. Um, I'm also now with another one of our colleagues and coaches developing a curriculum around how to create um, ventures that create impact. So we're um, looking at a curriculum that um, is focused on impact entrepreneurship within a systems change perspective. So um, that's one of the side projects within boot camps that I'm working on right now. Um, and let me hand it over to Erdine, who's actually the founder of MIT boot camps. Hello, everyone. It's so fantastic to have you all here. In many ways, I see this gathering as a seed of future possibilities for the world because what do, we need, what do we need in the world today? We need to come together, uh, people from all over the world. And once you know a person from another country and you know them genuinely with empathy, your whole worldview changes. You can never think of a country that you didn't know before once you know a person there. And I think that's very special. 
my mission in life is to bridge the barrier between motivation and opportunity. I, uh, I grew up in a country that no longer exists, uh, that uh, Evgenia here would uh, be able to relate to, and that country is the Soviet Union. And when I was a teenager, that country fell apart, and my country suddenly became a very small country, Kyrgyzstan. And so as a kid, I began experiencing this uh, very interesting tension between inclusion. I was once a citizen of the largest country in the world, to exclusion. I was suddenly a citizen of a country that's tiny and that no one knew about. And through that experience, I, I got to know the world really as a world where a lot of people feel separated. And it doesn't matter where we live, we feel often separated in one way or the other. And that separates us from, from knowledge, from connection, from, from making the best of ourselves. And what um, I'm driven to do at MIT is to work with people like Vimala and Jane and Mariah and Beatrice and our team and many others here to, to create educational experiences that bridge the gap between humanity. And uh, that is really the spirit with which I'm approaching our connection here. Vim, back to you. Thank you, Ardeen. Um, so, well, Erdine and I are the two people that you will see the most often. Um, we do have a team that will be supporting us throughout the 10 weeks. Um, so the members of the boot camps team who you will see periodically and hear from are Jane, who you just met, um, Mariah, who you will be along with Jane, who you will have received a lot of communications from. Um, they're actually the people who made sure that you're here today. They run all of our marketing and admissions. Um, just to give you an idea, we've had um, more than 2,000 people apply for the boot camp. Um, so we're still in the process of admitting people and um, having people uh, confirm their, their attendance, but it is a very select group of people and that's, that's very much thanks to Mariah and Jane. Um, we also have Beatrice who um, is an instructional designer by uh, training. And she helps us to really design um, the boot camp and the online experience to, um, for, for optimal both learning and engagement. Um, so you'll see her periodically. Um, and she actually masterminds a lot of the surveys that you'll be seeing throughout the, um, throughout the boot camp. Um, and those are meant for us to get feedback from you so that we can improve the program along the way and really um, do the best that we can to meet your expectations and beyond. So just to give you a sense of what we'll be doing for the next hour, um, we'll be going through what the objectives of the boot camp it are, um, take a look at the schedule, uh, just so you have a sense of what a week, um, a boot camp week looks like. Um, we'll break down what each of those um, interactions looks like and what the expectation is for each of them. Um, we'll talk through the seven different modules that we'll be going through over the course of the boot camp. Um, we'll introduce the platforms, um, Zoom being which one of them that we'll be working together on um, during the boot camp. And I know a lot of you have questions about the teams and team formation, so we'll, we'll explain that to you. Um, we'll talk about who are the other people that you'll be meeting and hearing from from MIT during the course of the boot camp. And then we'll get to any, any additional questions that you have. So, you know, as our Dean said, our larger mission is really to um, connect people around the world to opportunity and opportunity through education. Um, you know, Erdine and myself, we both, um, we're both immigrants to the US, uh, well, Erdine directly me through my parents. And, um, you know, it's, it's wonderful for us to see such a diverse group of people joining us from all over the world. I know we didn't get to everybody, but I think, um, you know, we had, we had one person from the US in the, say, 20 people who um, introduced themselves. And that's pretty typical of our boot camps, that we have people from 30 to 40 different countries joining us. And I know um, in, in what Erdine and I are trying to do by basically taking the transformational ex educational experience we had at MIT and taking that to a much broader audience. Um, and we do that first with the in-person boot camps that we've run um, all around the world. So taking a piece of MIT to, to the rest of the world. 
And now with, um, you know, the world is virtual, so we're, we're taking that to the virtual world. Um, but our goal is really to bring to you um, what made MIT transformational for us, which is a combination of the, um, the, the content, which is coming from educators and researchers who are at the top of their field in innovation, um, both in terms of research and practice. Um, it's bringing together a very select cohort of people. Um, we are very mindful about selecting all of you as future alumni. That's what we have in mind because the boot camp itself, the in-person will be a week. The um, online program is 10 weeks. And that's, that's a limited time, but being a part of the boot camp family or the boot camp community is a much longer investment. And so, um, and that comes from who's in the group and who's in the community. So that's why we see the selection component as, um, as very important. Um, <clears throat> And then also, you know, we're going to ask you along with our coaches to really push yourselves um, in, in the work that you do both for um, each week as well as the group projects that you're working on. Can I just ask everyone again to mute, please? Okay. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so th these are the things that we've seen that have been a really transformational experience for us at MIT when we were <laughs> students. And our goal is to really bring that to, to each of you, wherever you are. So the first thing that we'll be doing and the curriculum and content that we've structured is around the different innovation frameworks that are taught here at MIT in, um, <clears throat> at the Sloan School, uh, at the Entrepreneurship Center. Um, the, the lead faculty there are uh, Eric Von Hippel, who has really pioneered a lot of the um, uh, research around user innovation. Um, then Bill Allette, who's the managing director for um, entrepreneurship here at MIT at the Trust Center, um, who's written the book Disciplined Entrepreneurship, which provides some of the backbone of um, the work that we'll be doing over the course of the week, or the uh, 10 weeks. Then we'll have um, Sanjay Sharma, who is actually mine and Dean's boss, the vice president for open learning, um, who is really leading the way in what the future of both work and education look like. Um, He's also a professor of mechanical engineering who, uh, his lab is where the term Internet of Things was coined. So he takes a different approach to innovation um, from a technology perspective. So we'll be hearing, hearing that from him as well. Um, and we'll also be hearing from other faculty across MIT about what innovation means in the different schools and different disciplines at MIT. Um, the core of what we'll be doing and how we how we think about the boot camp is it's a program in um, entrepreneurial problem discovery and problem solving. So fundamentally, those are the two things that we'll be very much focused on. And when you break down actually identifying a problem, there's quite a bit of work to be do work to be done. Um, really starting with customer discovery. So um, first, we'll try to identify what important problems are, um, and then you'll be talking to different. Um, customers who are feeling those pain points to truly understand what that problem is and if it's worth solving. Then we'll talk about different ways to actually solve for those problems. Um, the boot camp has always been a place to uh, learn how to collaborate with others from, a, from very diverse backgrounds. Um, what we're now doing also is um, focusing on how to collaborate online and um, you know, this is something that we saw uh, several years ago when we first brought the online boot camps to the world um, as a really important tool going forward. And where we are now with the coronavirus pandemic, we're just seeing that it's, it's really a skill not just for a specialized group of people, but for everyone. Um, <clears throat> another component of the boot camp is everyone will be asked to be the CEO for a module during the boot camp. So you'll have the opportunity to lead your team for at least um, part of the boot camp, And then, I mean, as we've seen, you will be part of a global team, you'll be a part of this global cohort, so you'll be able to build this community, um, not just during these 10 weeks, but, but once the boot camp concludes, you'll join 1,300 other um, alumni from uh, over 100 countries around the world. Uh, and, you know, we, we see this as an educational experience. So this is the place for you to try new things. It's, it's a safe place to learn. 
um, to experiment. And we really ask you, um, you know, to, to take the extra step and to push yourself beyond what, you, what you've ever done before. And I think that's where the real learning and transformation comes. Erdine, do you have anything to add about what, we're, what we've done and what we're really looking for from the boot camp? Yeah. And perhaps I could answer it um, by also addressing the underlying question that everyone here has, and that is, why should I join the boot camp? And perhaps you'll allow me to answer this question by actually asking you the question. Uh, can you raise your hand here if you think you are a great cook, or at least a moderately good cook? And uh, those of you who are not raising a hand, uh, if you could uh, and raise your hand if you know someone who is a good cook, right? I think that's most of us here. Now, the question is, if you are a good cook, are you ready to be the master chef of a Michelin star restaurant? And I think all of us instinctively answer this question with, no, I'm, I'm not ready. The real question is, why? Like, why are you not ready? If you're a great cook, why can't you be a master chef in a Michelin star restaurant? Right? And I want you to think about this question because the thinking on this question is fundamental to how the bootcamp is designed. And the simple dichotomy here is between a recipe and a cuisine. It is highly likely that what you're looking for is a recipe for entrepreneurship. You're looking for a set of ingredients and a set of techniques to bring the ingredients together toward a successful outcome, a successful company or a great dish. That's not how the bootcamp is designed. We are not here to provide recipes. We are here to teach cuisine. What does that mean, right? What does it mean? In the language of entrepreneurship and actually cooking, this means teaching an underlying set of philosophies. It is a philosophy that makes a cuisine its whole. The philosophy of French cuisine is different from the philosophy of Thai cuisine. Certainly there are similarities, but they have distinct philosophies. Those philosophies create communities of practice. And this is what this is about, communities of practice where knowledge can be shared and advanced. And ultimately, this too creates the potent combination that allows you not just to ask, but answer the question why. As Vimala knows very well, I love cooking steak, right? But cooking steak is not just about getting the right cut of meat, putting it on a hot grill, right? Salting it in advance. But it is about asking, well, why does the grill need to be very hot? Why? And the answer is, well, it's the mailed reaction. You want to generate a mailed reaction that creates this combination of proteins, moisture, combined with heat. And that is what gives you the browning and the underlying flavor molecules that you need, right? You need the why. And so we will be giving you the why of entrepreneurship, not just recipes and techniques. That is insufficient. But to do that well, we want to give you the passion for learning in this field, and we want to give you the tools to continue your learning after the bootcamp. So think of the bootcamp as cuisine, not a recipe. So thank you, Vim. Sorry, I was having a little trouble unmuting myself. Um, but I just wanted to go through, thank you, Adine, um, what, what a typical schedule looks like. Um, so the, there are a lot of different things that will be happening in each module. So here is a snapshot of one module. Um, and you can see that 
uh, if we look at, here it is, week five, module three, problem and opportunity. So that module really starts the week, um, starts on Monday. Um, but you'll see in advance earlier in the weekend, the different modules for prepping for that week, um, the different MOOC components will be released earlier in the week. Uh, so here in this case, there are um, two different MOOC modules that will ask you to view ahead of time. And um, each week there will be a certain number of modules from the MOOCs and perhaps some readings for you to prepare for the bootcamp module that week. Um, and that will be released earlier in the week. Um, then the deliverable for that um, module will also be released. And these are exercises for you to work together on your team to help you work through the concepts that you've learned, that you learn in the module and um, that are moving your team towards the final project, which is essentially building a venture together over the course of the 10 weeks. So in advance of the module, um, you'll have any prep work released, um, which can include videos and readings, um, as well as the deliverables for that week. Then the actual week of the module, you'll have um, a uh, innovation workshop, which you see here in green, and or an innovation and uh, leadership lecture, which are here in yellow. And so these innovation workshops will be led by Erdine and myself. Um, the lectures will be coming from a variety of people at MIT. So it'll be faculty, practitioners. So um, you'll either be getting a uh, conceptual view from a research perspective with a lot of um, different examples, or you'll be hearing directly from practitioners. So these are um, entrepreneurs, investors, supporters of entrepreneurial ecosystems to really understand what all the different components are um, from the entrepreneur's perspective, from an investor's perspective, or from the ecosystem perspective about how, what makes entrepreneurship successful and what, what makes you as an entrepreneur successful. Um, we'll then release a feedback survey at the end of each week. And this is where you can give, it's, it's the opportunity for us to collect from you what's been going well, what can we improve? And we actually take that feedback and act on it to improve the following modules within the bootcamp itself. You'll also see that um, there are some coaching sessions. So um, every team of five will have a coach that's dedicated to them throughout the week. And the coaches are experienced MIT entrepreneurs. Most of them, um, are either got their MBA or a PhD from MIT, and then went on to start a successful business, either on their own, a startup, or within, um, within a company. So, um, you know, I would say our typical coach has experience starting a business either based on a technology that they worked on or um, a problem that they came to know very intimately um, and they have built a venture around this. Um, most of them have raised, successfully raised external money um, um, in the tens and millions of range, uh, 10 to million dollar range, um, tens of millions of dollars range. Um, others have been bootstrapped through customer contracts, again, to the tune of millions of dollars. So for the most part, these are very large, multi-million dollar ventures um, either standalone, sometimes within different companies. We have a couple people who, a couple coaches who um, lead innovation within big companies such as Boston Scientific, who are essentially do, going through the um, entrepreneurial process uh, within a company. Um, so they have some of the um, advantages of being at a big company, but are essentially doing the same problem discovery and problem solving that all of us will be learning here in the boot camp. Um, and the ones who are coming from a corporate perspective often actually have experience as startup entrepreneurs themselves. Um, and so you'll be meeting with them, um, with your coach for about an hour a week with your team. Um, and then you'll be meeting with your team to work on your projects and, and those timings will be up to you. So just so we can take a look here at what all the different components are 
and what the expected time commitment is. So there'll be the prep work, the modules and the readings, um, which, will which will be done on your own and at your own pace and will take about one to two hours per week. I would say closer to about an hour for most weeks. Um, then you'll have um, two innovation workshops or lectures. So it could be two innovation workshops, it could be two lectures, it could be one innovation workshop and one lecture in most weeks. Um, and so that'll be a total commitment generally of three hours. Um, those will all, all of those workshops will be live and they're on a fixed schedule, generally Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 to 1130 AM um, Eastern time. There are a few weeks, the first week, and I think there's another week where we might have an additional um, class that week. So in that case, there'll be four to five hours of uh, live workshops or lectures. Um, and again, these schedules are fixed, but all of the sessions are recorded. So if you're not able to attend, you can watch the recording and that'll be posted to the platform within 24 hours. Um, the coaching sessions are um, going to be with the coaches that I just described, and that's typically one hour per module. So about seven um, hours over the course of the week. And these will be live with your team. We recommend that you attend all of these and you will have input into the scheduling. So um, you'll work with your team as well as the coach to find a time that works for everybody. The team meetings are similar. So you'll be meeting with your team um, maybe one to two times a week to talk about your group project. Um, and these meetings can last, you know, they can be 30 minutes, an hour. Towards the end of the boot camp, they might be longer as you're pulling together your final project. Um, but again, these are live. You should be attending these live and you'll have input into that scheduling with your team. Then there will be some um, individual work that you'll be doing per your project. And this will be work that will be assigned to you or you guys will divide up in your team time. And um, that, that will typically be one to four hours, probably closer to, um, you know, on the, uh, in the beginning, actually, it might be closer to two hours as you're doing interviews and you're reaching out to people and trying to really discover your problem. That might go down a little bit during the middle of the boot camp and then ramp up again to maybe two to four hours towards the end of the boot camp as you're pulling together your project. And again, this will be on your own based on your team schedule. Um, and then every module will have a set of exercises that are really meant to take your team through this process and, and build on one another each module until you get to the final presentation of the week, which is essentially pitching, um, pitching a venture to all of us. And um, these typically what teams do are they divide up the work. Um, and so there might be one to three hours of work for you to do uh, each week around that. Um, and then whoever's the CEO will generally pull that together to turn it in each week. And again, this will be time on your own um, based on the, your team's schedule. And just to give you a sense of what the modules are, <clears throat> we'll start out with entrepreneurial creativity. And so this will be really around how do you identify an opportunity? And a problem. Um, what are different techniques for getting your brain thinking beyond what you would normally think of, beyond what you know, and to start, of, um, start to think of creative problems, and then start to validate, are these problems actually important, and are they, are they worth solving? Um, that will take us into customer discovery, where we really look at who are the different stakeholders in the problem that you're trying to solve, um, and we'll go through understanding primary market research and other types of sense making to really understand both your customer and the problem as well. So it's only then that we'll really start to crystallize what that problem is that you're trying to solve. Prior to that, you're really trying to understand the problem space, understand the opportunity space. You start to talk to people to kind of zero in on what, what that actual problem is. And it really won't be until week five that it really crystallizes around this is the problem that we are planning to solve. And you'll see that we don't even get to problem solving until week six and seven, because what we fundamentally believe is you have to get the problem right. You have to truly understand what this opportunity is. What is the value that you are trying to create? 
before you start solving for that. Um, and what we see is once you get the problem right, um, the solving the problem is, it's a very important step. It's a, a lot of work needs to be done, but that's almost secondary to getting the problem right. Um, so we'll spend two weeks on um, solution ideation and uh, really how to iterate so that you are getting the problem, uh, so the, that you're getting the solution that's right for your customer in solving this problem. Um, finally, we'll talk about the venture design. So what is your business model? How are you actually going to, now that you've identified a problem, you've developed a solution, how are you actually going to deliver this solution to your customer in a way that makes financial sense to them and financial sense to you? Um, so we'll look at what all the different types of business models are and how you go about selecting um, that model as well as a distribution model. And then we'll spend the last two weeks really talking about how to formulate your story. And um, as a team, how do, you, how do you sell this venture to others, to other teammates, to investors? Um, how do you get people on board to this idea that you've been working on um, for the last 10 weeks? And over the 10 weeks, we'll be um, working with a variety of platforms. Zoom is the video conferencing platform here that we're using for the webinar and that we'll be using for all the innovation workshops, the lectures. We will have some social activities from time to time throughout the 10 weeks, so we'll be using mostly Zoom for those. Um, you'll meet your coaches on Zoom and um, you'll have your team meetings through Zoom as well. <coughs> The learning management system that we use is called NovoEd. So all the course materials will be there. So you'll see the syllabus, the most updated schedule, all the exercises and deliverables that you will be doing. You'll get them from NovoEd. You'll um, upload them back to NovoEd based on the due dates. That's where the coaches will give you feedback on the deliverables that you've done. Um, any recordings of the lectures and workshops, once they're completed, they'll be placed on NovoEd. Um, and any of the presentation decks that we go through will be placed on NovoEd. So that'll really be the content repository um, throughout the bootcamp. Then we mostly use Slack for instant messaging. Um, so there'll be a course Slack group um, that you'll be added to. You'll have team Slack groups um, that you can work in privately. You'll have a team Slack group that your coach will communicate with you. Um, so we, we'll have Slack, uh, Slack as our primary method of communication. Of course, you'll get announcements and things through NovoEd, and you might sign up to get some of these announcements through email as well, through NovoEd and Slack. Um, <clears throat> and as I reference some of the video content with the MOOCs, all of that will be through um, edX. And we'll have links to the specific modules that you'll need to view in preparation of each week. And I know this is a big question for you. Um, I, this is a big question everyone always has about teams and team formation. Um, so all of the work you will be doing will be on teams of four to six people. And we, um, we, we actually in the past, we used to allow people to form their own teams. But um, what we saw is from a learning perspective, what's more important at this stage is to be able to figure out how to work with a group of really diverse people um, who are coming from not just uh, demographic diversity, um, so not just different countries, ages, gender, et cetera, but people from different backgrounds as you. So we want to make sure that there are engineers and business people and creatives all in a group together because um, when, you, when you start a business, any kind of team that you're working on that's working towards a goal of um, delivering something new, you'll have a diverse group of voices and experiences and you might not have, even if it's your own startup, <clears throat> who, you, who you work with is not always your choice. Who your customers are, who your suppliers are, are not always your choice. So it's really important to be able to work with a group of um, diverse people and um, to understand different communication styles and to work effectively with them. So, that's the reason why we, um, we actually form the teams and we try to maximize that diversity per team. So in addition to getting to practice these um, uh, innovation techniques and frameworks, you are also learning how to collaborate effectively with a very diverse group of people. 
Um, so the two main factors that we look at when we put the teams together are number one, we're looking at time zone compatibility. So as those of you who joined earlier saw, we have people who are from you know, the West Coast um, in the US, which is three hours behind where we are, to Hong Kong, which is 12 hours ahead of us right now. Um, and certainly we'll have people from Australia. So we really will have people from um, a diverse group of time zones. So part of the onboarding is for you to submit um, what time zones you're available to work both on the weekends and the evenings. And um, within that, we'll then look to diversify the teams um, so that, there's, that we can maximize the diversity for each team. And then you'll be matched with your coach based on the time zone availability as well, because our coaches are coming from um, all over the world as well. And over the course of the boot camp, um, the two people you will see the most are Erdine and myself. Um, you'll also um, hear from and see the rest of the boot camps team. So Jane, Mariah, and Beatrice. Um, we'll have a number of different faculty who will be joining us. Um, I mentioned Eric and Bill, um, Sanjay Sharma. Um, we'll, we'll have a few other faculty coming to join us. Then we'll have practitioners um, from MIT. Uh, Marina Hatsopoulos um, is, is one for sure. And then we'll have, we'll have others who are coming from different parts of MIT to share their experience. Um, and then we'll have the coaches who each of you will be, each team will be assigned to uh, one coach. So you'll have the opportunity to meet some of the other coaches over the course of the 10 weeks. Um, Erdine, did you have anything to add? Sure, I'll, um, I'll add a point in terms of curriculum and then in terms of your personal development. Both Vimal and I are entrepreneurs. I have also been a venture investor, but our goal is not to tell you how we've done it. Certainly, our experience informs the curriculum, but it's nowhere near close to the totality of the curriculum. Our goal as educators is to do two things. First of all, identify best practices that are offered by cutting edge research. And that is why we are offering to you a series of talks by leading faculty at MIT for you to see what the state of the art of understanding is. And secondly, it is for us to study entrepreneurs who have been phenomenally successful, not just financially, but in building thriving organizations to understand what the commonalities are and to convey them to you. And just as a preview of the bootcamp experience, I'll, I'll tell you one characteristic that is rarely mentioned, but we find it to be quite important to entrepreneurs. And it rests on a contradiction and a lot of um, attributes of successful entrepreneurs are actually contradictory. And that is why entrepreneurship is difficult. And this contradiction is, the specific one is creative practicality. Entrepreneurs tend to combine this ability to be creative with an ability to be very grounded. And we find it is this duality and its combination that is so important to you. And what's more, you can learn that. And uh, by the way, for Evgenia here, who is in London and is from Russia, there is a Russian entrepreneur in London who epitomizes this, this characteristic. His name is Evgeny Chichvarkin. He founded the, uh, the retail network of uh, mobile uh, phone sales in, in Russia and now runs uh, probably one of the finest wine stores in London. He epitomizes this attribute. Now, in terms of your personal development, the idea of the bootcamp, and in particular, the team learning process is for you to experience what we call the new you. Inside of all of you, all of us, myself included, Vimal included, Jane, Mariah, Beatrice, all of us, there is a new I someone that I want to become. And this new you is budding to get out of you. But that new you is often constrained by the conditions of the outer environment, by various inhibitions, by risks. Now the bootcamp should be a risk-free zone for you to try the new you, to make your mistakes. So our recommendation to you, you wanna try new things about yourself, 
try them in the bootcamp. Even if you fail, make mistakes, even though we don't view it as such at all. Well, after the bootcamp, you won't ever see us again. So that's no risk for you at all. And at least you learn something, right? So this is the opportunity for you to try your new you and to make this process rigorous and elevated and positive and focused on you, we have the coaching model. The coaches will work with you to discover and unleash your new you. Wonderful. Thank you, Ardeen. It's wonderful to see so many of you here. Thank you for joining us today. And um, we hope to see you on October 5th.